Hello friends, fans, and Dairy Products of All Ages, this is Cheese of Ages with yet another League of Legends content video. Uh, after this, I will be uh, finishing up some more videos on my Dungeons and Dragons campaign setting, as well as uh, putting out some videos uh, for a D&D 5th edition conversion for the setting, well, each of the settings for the game system that I was working on myself as well as eventually after that with some uh, stuff for that game system on the channel devoted to it that I had not actually put anything to before. But anyway, today we're going to uh, be talking about some recent things happened. It's sort of an extension of the lore video I put out a bit uh, uh, earlier complaining about the lore department's decisions a little bit in the past. Uh, this is going to be uh, addressing a common like, minor complaint that people have been having slightly recently, and that's uh, gangplank misfortune after the Burning Tides Bilgewater event. So, essentially, long story short, the entire uh, lore event was essentially misfortune uh, plotting to have it where Gangplank would be on a pu sort of a, pu a public stage because he's doing a public execution of people that tried to steal from him, which misfortune hired um, those two people that are going to be executed being Twisted Fate and Graves, though they escape. Uh, the whole thing of the re he she hired a Twisted Fate to steal from Gangplank, knowing he would. Uh, publicly execute them, and thus when she attacked he'd be in front of all of Bilgewater losing because he's getting ambushed. So she essentially destroys Gangplank's ship and dethrones him in front of everybody. And then afterwards she gets like a maniacal freaking twitch and, well not the champion twitch, but <laughs> she gets a maniacal glint and says she's going to kill everyone that ever associated with Gangplank. Everyone that allied with him, everyone that dealt with him, everyone. And she's not going to rest until she has Gangplank's corpse. So Captain Fortune skin comes out to represent the misfortune that was that launched that attack and then took over Bilgewater for her own. The misfortune that is canon to the lore is a, nine, is a 975 skin, I believe. That doesn't change her voice lines. She still has the lines where she's constantly hitting on the summoner, even though she's a murderous psychopath. Now, Gangplank survives, however, He's lost everything, and now he's on for, to vengeance and to retake his power base, and he's lost an arm, so it's now a mechanized replacement arm. They replaced his base skin, changing all of his lines, after already reworking him to fit the uh, lore changes they were giving him, although it wasn't honestly that different. Uh, so they changed his base skin to suit gangplank after the events of uh, Captain Fortune fucking his shit up. And they made his reworked base skin from the like gangplank rework a skin they would give for free if you play one match with him during the Bilgewater event. Okay, so let me get this straight. Gangplank changes relatively little. He's just shifted where he's not the king of Bilgewater anymore. And he's after a uh, misfortune for vengeance and to retake his throne. Misfortune becomes the uncrowned queen of Bilgewater and completely changes in personality. Yet the, what she is canonically now is a 9750 skin, not a 9750, a 975 skin that doesn't even have a voice pack. What? I was oh we gotta complain that the uh, that if we did that they'd complain that misfortune doesn't look like misfortune anymore. 
Gangplank doesn't look remotely like he has ever looked in his entire history. If you put a picture of the new Gangplank uh, splash art on screen without any of the music hints, if you like, turn if you logged into League of Legends with the uh, music turned off and just had the the art for the login screen pop up, you would not know who the fuck that was. If you looked at any of the splash art for Gangplank and had no uh, visual, I mean, had no text or audio cues to indicate who that was a picture of, you would not know that was Gangplank. The only hint that it would, is Gangplank is the fact that he has a pistol and a sword. Only the weapons are the same. There is not a single, solitary, similar thing to old Gangplank. To any iteration of Gangplank in the past, you would not know. You might guess if you see him in motion, if you've seen the reworked Gangplank. You might have some indication that it's Gangplank by seeing that, oh, he has a coat, and he has a sword, and a gun. People that are, uh, are dedicated and recent Gangplank players would know who that is by that, but they're like, what the fuck, this doesn't look like Gangplank at all, is what they would react to. So you're perfectly willing to completely and utterly change every visual concept of a character. Unless the Reddit would complain about, uh, boobs. Because <laughs> that's what would happen. Okay, I understand, Riot, why you didn't do that. The Reddit would complain that Miss Fortune wasn't in a bikini top anymore. You know... They would complain about Miss Fortune only having a boob window. Hell, the Reddit complained that her boobs, boobs were reduced even though they're pretty much the exact same. <laughs> it's not any really that much different. And in fact, she's sexier now because she doesn't have polio limbs. <laughs> her limbs aren't spaghetti. Her boobs were minusculely reduced in size, but only because they made her figure not polio-inflicted. Her boobs only look smaller because her limbs are you know, larger, and she's taller. To scale, her boobs aren't that different. In fact, they're still big as frack. But yeah, the female champion can't have the Captain Fortune skin that's lore accurate to who she is in the lore now and can't have a new voice back because Reddit would complain about not as much boobs even though there's a big boob window. <laughs> but male champion skin can be completely and totally changed. Yeah. That makes total sense. That's completely fair. But yeah. I'm on with the camp of uh, the you know, of the Reddit that is complaining that Captain Fortune should be the base skin. Mind you, the Reddit would complain if it was the base skin; it'd be just a different faction of them. And damn, that's some good splash art for the Captain and Fortune skin. That is like the, one of the best splash arts I've ever seen in the history of the game. That is just so much detail in that. Check that out. It's just like wow, that is a lot of detail. That is like really, really. Uh, freaking intricately created compliments. But yeah, anyway, short, rambly, pointless complaint, really, in the long run. And not really as like a mechanical or long-term business strategy complaint thing. That uh, is my usual, like, complaint. But I just figured I'd have my two cents out there on it. Anyway, this will be Cheech of Ages. I keep missing, and I keep saying that wrong. I need to learn language. They stutter too much. Anyway, this will be Cheese of Ages signing off.